All right, thank you, Aaron. And as Mike said, you might see more rain clouds in the sky than fireworks on the 4th of July. But the good news is there's many other opportunities to get your festive fix of pyrotechnics before and after the holiday. Tomorrow, July 3rd, as Mike said, great weather. Here's a quick list of shows happening around the state, courtesy of Explore Minnesota. In the metro specifically, you've got Bloomington happening at Normandale Lake Park, just southwest of that, Shakopee at Canterbury Park. They also have some live racing going on. And St. Paul doesn't have an official show, hasn't for years, but there is one happening at CHS Field. It starts right after the Saints game ends. Elsewhere in Minnesota on July 3rd, you can visit Pequot Lakes, Nisswa, Eveleth, and Aurora. And if you're patient and wait until the weekend, here's a few more notables that stood out to us. CHS Field will once again have fireworks after the Saints game on Friday, July 5th. On July 6th, Cross Lake has a show. And of course, the famous Delano fireworks display will happen on Saturday as well. As for the 4th, there is a big show making its return. Red, White and Boom is back in downtown Minneapolis after a five year hiatus just in time for Mother Nature to throw a wrench into things. I talked with the Minneapolis Parks and Rec Board to learn how it's preparing for inclement weather. Staff will be monitoring conditions around the clock and the fireworks show will only be canceled for severe weather, meaning torrential rain and or lightning. We've done events in the past with light rain and our park users uh, have not, <laughs> it's not deterred them at all. <laughs> so would the message be to people, you know, bring a jacket, bring an umbrella at a minimum at this point? Yeah, I, I would come prepared and I'd really pay attention to our two Facebook pages. We've got an event Facebook page and we've got a the main park board pay, Facebook page. Minneapolis Red, White and Boom is one of those Facebook pages to monitor. You see it right now on the screen, as is the Minneapolis Parks and Recreation Board page. And just remember, it's possible the rain could cancel the musical performances happening in the evening, but not the fireworks if the sky is clear in time.